Oregon football in 1993 featured some of the most exciting plays by some of the school's greatest players. This was a team that scored more than three touchdowns a game, accounted for more than 4,000 yards in total offense, sported the school's all-time single-season passer, a receiver who caught more touchdown passes than all but one former star, a running back who finished second on the school's list of rushers and all-purpose yardage, and arguably the nation's most talented kicker-punter. The defense led by Ernest Jones and Romeo Bandison applied constant pressure on enemy quarterbacks. The Ducks won three games on the road, including a victory in the heartland of the Big Ten. It was a season of thrilling victories and disappointing losses. But every game seemed to produce big plays, and even in defeat, this team kept Oregon fans on the edge of their seats. Uh, Illinois showing blitz. They come. The throw is down. Tate's open. He's got it. Has he got the speed? He's at the 40. He's at the 50. He needs the block. He gets it. 30. He's going to score. 20, 15, 10, 5. Willie Tate. Touchdown, Oregon. Touchdown, Oregon. Fourth down. It may have come down to this with ones on the board. One minute, 11 seconds left. Oregon leads by six, 13 to seven. Wait for the snap. He's got it. Back to throw the ball. Here comes a rush. Throws it to the end zone. Incomplete. Intercepted in the end zone. It is intercepted in the end zone. Alex Mulder on a believe Dwayne Jones yeah with Filia behind him from the five and give it a feel you know that pitch of the Macklemore is going to throw wide open O'Neill on first down at the Duck 36 yard line and Eddie Rowley bites the throw. Sets, looks, going to go down field. He's got a man. It is Juggerman caught. Rowley bites the throw. Perfect. Oh, Kristen McLemore. Touchdown. Defense has long been a trademark of Oregon football, and 1993 was no different. Five times the Ducks held enemy ground attack below 100 yards, starting in the season opener at Colorado State. Senior end Romeo Bandison was a dominating force up front, ending many plays before they even got started. Outside linebacker Ernest Jones was an unstoppable force who played with endless pursuit. His 13 quarterback sacks set a new Oregon record for a season and his 29 career markers also rewrote the record book. Inside linebackers David Massey and sophomore Jeremy Asher formed a dynamic duo. Asher was spectacular against California with three quarterback sacks, 
disrupting the Bear offense all afternoon. Secondary was led by strong safety Chad Cota, whether knifing into the opponent backfield or making a team high four interceptions. Cota was Johnny on the spot. Sophomore Alex Molden made a miraculous recovery from knee surgery to once again lead the team in pass deflection. And with the return of Herman O'Berry, should give Oregon an outstanding cornerback combination in 94. Oregon special teams made it a habit of setting the tone for a game. Once again, the Ducks ranked among the national leaders in kickoff return, as Burwell and Whittle consistently took advantage of bone-jarring blocks up front. Senior Tommy Thompson concluded his career as one of the school's leading punters and kickers. His 54-yard field goal at Arizona was the longest in the Pac-10. And with unerring accuracy, Thompson provided Oregon not only with points on the scoreboard, but also great field position with his booming punts. The 1993 Oregon offense was one of the most explosive in the nation. Led by junior quarterback Danny O'Neill, the Ducks had the ability to strike from anywhere on the field. O'Neill took his rightful place among the great quarterbacks in Oregon history, passing for more yards than any of his predecessors, including Chris Miller, Dan Fouts, and Bill Musgrave. He became only the third quarterback in Pac-10 history to pass for more than 3,000 yards, surpassing the previous standard set by John Elway. No Oregon quarterback has thrown more touchdown passes for more yards with greater accuracy than the native of Newport Beach, California. Against Arizona State, O'Neill shredded the Sun Devils with four scoring tosses, tying the school record. He duplicated that feat against Stanford and topped the 300-yard mark for the sixth time during the season. O'Neill had a bevy of weapons at his disposal. The tandem of sophomore Kristen McLemore and senior Derek Deadweiler each caught over 50 passes, the first time in Oregon history that two different receivers had topped the half-century mark in the same season. McLemore hauled in 10 six-pointers, tying the school standard many of them of the spectacular variety. The former high school quarterback also threw for a pair of scores, making him one of the most versatile offensive threats in the nation. Tight end Willie Tate was an unstoppable force in the secondary. When he got his hands on the pigskin, there wasn't a defender who didn't pay the price. Senior tailback Sean Burwell has etched a place in the Oregon record book. For the fourth consecutive season, he led the Ducks in rushing and completed his career as the school's second leading ground gainer. Burwell accounted for more yards rushing, receiving, and in returns than all but one other player in Oregon history and finished as the eighth leading all-purpose runner in Pac-10 Am. His running mate, sophomore Ricky Whittle, left defenders in his wake and should surpass the 1,000-yard mark in career rushing early next season.
Leading the way up front was senior fullback Juan Shedrick, whose devastating blocking opened gaping holes for Burwell and Whittle. But the guys that made it all happen toiled in the offensive line. Seniors Justin Stark, Mike DeFonso, Eric Barnes, and Tom Curran were a wall of protection for O'Neill and company all season. Oregon has proven in recent years that it can play with and contend with the best teams in the nation. This is a team that will not back down from a challenge and refuses to quit. Oregon football has earned the respect of football fans around the country. And with a strong nucleus returning, the green and yellow has high hopes and dreams for the season ahead.